What is up everybody and welcome to Everything's Plastic. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Marvel Legends action figure. And this is the Ant-Man from Ant-Man and Wasp Quantumania. So we'll start by getting a closer look at the side of the package. We have an awesome image of Ant-Man on the side here. And we have the build figure on this side which is Cassie Lang. So the other figures in the wave are Marvel's Wasp, Kang the Conqueror, Ultron, Marvel's Aegid, Marvel's Crossfire, and future Ant-Man. We have the Avenger symbol on the top, which is kind of weird. <laughs> it is Ant-Man figure, it's not part of the Avengers movie. But yeah, Avengers symbol on the top. On the back here we have a picture of the figure not wearing his helmet. And for accessories we have helmet and two hands. So in the package he comes with two fisted hands. And for his extra hands he comes with an open one and one pointing finger. So other than that guys, not much else to say about packaging. We'll be right back. Get a closer look at Ant-Man. All right, everybody, we have Ant-Man outside of the package. For accessories, like I previously mentioned, it comes with his helmet. So one of the really cool features about this helmet is we can actually see some eyes in the lenses, which is pretty cool. Uh, the other versions of Ant-Man were just painted red. This one, we can see a translucent orange, and we can see those eyes there. Hopefully my camera picks it up. There is a fair bit of marbling in the gray plastic with this which we're pretty used to seeing <laughs> with these Marvel Legends. Also for accessories, like I previously mentioned as well, he comes with this pointy hand, pointy finger, and one open hand. All right, let's get a closer look at Ant-Man. Uh, I gotta say, man, I think this head sculpt actually looks pretty decent. Depends on the lighting. In some dull lighting, it actually looks a lot better. Uh, the way my lighting is here right now, it actually takes away from the likeness to uh, Paul Rudd. But I still think it's a pretty cool head sculpt. Uh, exact same head sculpt as the first 10 years Ant-Man. Decent likeness to Paul Rudd. You see the 5 o'clock shadow there. So he has some facial hair on this one. Cool sculpted hair. Awesome detail in the eyes. Fantastic. If I can get my camera to focus tons of detail and texture into the suit. Paint application is pretty cool on this one. Uh, we do see a little bit of black showing through. But other than that it's pretty good. Especially from a distance. Uh, the paint apps on this one is pretty clean all over. Get down to the lower part of the body and the same pattern carries all the way through, obviously. Uh, overall, man, this one looks great. The only thing that really throws me off is the torso is super long on this one. Now, maybe it is proportionate, but uh, I don't know what it is. The legs seem really, really short and the torso seems really, really long. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to look. I don't know. <laughs> but for some reason, it's really standing out to me. So that pretty much wraps up a closer look. Let's go over articulation now. I gotta admit, the joints on this one are fantastic. They're nice and smooth. Uh, not really gummy or anything like that, so I think they did a great job on this one. So for his head, it goes back this far, goes down this far. You do have some side to side, goes all the way around. For his shoulder, goes up this far. Obviously, you got a full rotation there. There's a rotation at the base here. You got a bicep swivel and double jointed pinless elbows, which are fantastic. So there's no rotation at the waist, no swivel. But you do have a ball joint up here. It goes back this far, forward this far. Do get your side to side and you get your full rotation all the way around. Ooh, Paul Rudd doing the exorcist. Uh, for his legs go out to almost a complete split. Go forward this far, which are, you're kind of limited going forward and you're restricted going back by his uh, pancake butt. No butt on this guy. Not that I saw his other action figures, but man. Do some squats, pal. There's a upper thigh cut. You get your double jointed pinless knees, which are fantastic. No boot cut. Ankles go back this far, forward this far, and all the way around. So this figure has pretty decent articulation. A little limited in some areas, but overall, uh, not a bad figure. Let's pop on that helmet. There you go. This one actually looks great, guys. Got to give Hasbro credit when they actually put out a good figure. And man, this is one of them. All right, guys, just to do a few quick comparisons to a couple other MCU figures that I have in my collection. Here we have the Call Obsidian, and over on the side here we have the Ant-Man vs. Yellow Jacket 2-pack, or the first 10 years, if I do remember correctly. Uh, for the head sculpt, this is the one that came with Call Obsidian. Obviously, a smug <laughs> grin on Paul Rudd's face here. Uh, the likeness is somewhat there. But the dude just looks like an ass, man. I, I can't help it. Just to do a comparison to the newer one. Much better head sculpt. I don't like the shiny plastic on this one, though. 
Uh, I like how this one is nice and flat. Gotta admit, it's, it's a definite improvement, in my opinion anyways. And then we have the head sculpt for the first 10 years. Uh, I think this is pretty much the exact same head sculpt. I don't see a whole lot of differences in it. Just a bit more facial hair added on to this one. Like I previously mentioned, this one is just super shiny. I uh, do like the detail on the eyes on this one much better too. Uh, so yeah, it's a toss up. I don't know which one I like better. Like I previously mentioned, I do like the facial hair on this one a little bit better. Uh, obviously Ant-Man should be older <laughs> in this film. I know Paul Rudd doesn't really age a whole lot, but yeah. <laughs> Slight differences, the exact same head sculpt, but butt paint can make a huge difference when it comes to head sculpts. And like I previously mentioned as well with the torso, I mean these are pretty much the same size, this one being a little bit taller, but I don't know what it is. Maybe the torso is the exact same size on this one. It just looks super long for whatever reason. Kind of looks unproportionate, but there could be an argument that it looks more proportionate, I don't know. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our unboxing and figure review. I'm going to try to keep this one nice and quick. So out of 10, I'm going to give this one a solid 9 out of 10. The joints are super nice on this one. Articulation is a little bit limited. Paint application is fantastic. Could use a few extra hands with this one. I like how we got a helmet and a unmasked or unhelmeted head sculpt, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But yeah, accessories are decent. Like I said, uh, not a whole lot of complaints with this one. Articulation is somewhat limited, but other than that, this is actually a really nice action figure. All right, guys, so let me know in the comments below what you think of our score of 9 out of 10. Let us know what you think of this review, and let us know what you think of this action figure. If you liked the review, don't forget, hit that like button, and hit that subscribe button while you're there. As always, my friends, we hope you enjoyed this review, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting, stay safe, go buy some toys.